invoice for Jones and Co. And we're uh, on the original invoice tab. So um, we'll just re-enter delivery fee and uh, a payment amount. Today's date. All right, so this tutorial is um, specifically for the uh, shipping department. Uh, and this has to do with the new way that we're going to do delivery dockets. Previously, delivery dockets were done uh, by making a copy of the invoice, uh, saving it as a new file. Uh, that's no longer going to be necessary on the new invoices. Uh, the invoices, the new invoices are going to be one complete file with the delivery docket saved on it. So after we go through the previous steps um, of an invoice and then a shipping request, <coughs> the next step after the uh, shipping department gets a request is they either accept or deny. Um, if they accept it, um, so going over to the shipping request, if they get requested for the 16th of the 2nd, if that gets sent through and uh, it gets diarized in the Google Calendar, then the next step uh, a day or a couple of days before is to create the delivery docket. And the delivery dockets are down here in these tabs highlighted in yellow. There's five of them, um, allowing for the fact that there's potentially five deliveries for the one invoice. These more can be added, but it's very rare than any more than five over one invoice. Um, most of the time, only one delivery charge uh, or two is part of a delivery, let alone five. So we click on to this tab, delivery docket one, uh, and all the information regarding the customer, phone number, invoice number, etc., will be automatically copied over. Uh, as will the description of the product and uh, and its code. Uh, clicking back to the invoice, you'll see that one has been ordered, one is remaining. However, going back over to the delivery docket, you'll see that one's still remaining, but quantity is zero. That's because the delivery docket is designed for just that. It's a delivery docket. This information is to be entered by the shipping staff. So invoice again, 16th of the second, shipping request gets sent through for the 16th of the second. If that's accepted and diarized, then it's this is where on the delivery docket we enter that information. Now you'll see when I try to enter that information, it says you can't adjust it. It's been protected. All right. And that's because I only want this information editable by the people in the shipping department. To unprotect the sheet on my version, on this Mac version, I go to review sheet. Um, it's similar on a PC, it's unprotect sheet. Um, and the password is uppercase admin one, two, three, exclamation. Just to repeat, uppercase, admin, one, two, three, exclamation. Now I can edit it. I'm gonna enter the 16th of the second, Oop. as was requested. <coughs> and in this scenario, it's one toilet. Now you'll notice that when I enter one toilet here, or one product here, the remaining here turns to nil. When I click back over to the invoice, the remaining here is also nil. And even on the shipping request, it turns into nil. So this is a joint formula that gives everybody information that things have been delivered. So I'll go back to the delivery docket. I've got all the information, I have the date, I've got the quantity. Any notes that are relevant. Notes might be delivery point to point, delivery from supplier, uh, even information about you know, customer contact that's relevant. 
keeping in mind that this information is what goes to the customer or to the builder or the receiver in general. Off screen, Q to the right. This is not sent to the customer, this area. This is internal. The shipping method, well, the shipping method with this particular delivery would probably be a same day service. It's, uh, it's local. Um, so we would probably use either Hunter Same Day or Capital Same Day. We utilize both these services at the moment. I've created a legend um, to make this easier. So that's just, uh, we're frequently using Hunter at the moment. So shipping method Hunter Express. Um, the shipping reference is what's recorded when you book it. Uh, so when you book it online, uh, that reference number will be applied here and any other notes for the back end. I don't expect there'll be many, but it, there might be some uh, back end notes that are relevant and I've allowed a section for it. So at this, it's at this point that, um, that you may save this information on delivery docket one and you print it or save it as a PDF, just this sheet, just to a temporary location. You don't any longer need a permanent Excel file record of delivery dockets because it's now part of this worksheet. Okay, so no longer do you need to save it separately. All right, um, I have made a mistake, however. I will save that again. I'll print or save as a PDF again, and I I must make this clear that we must uh, keep keep in form with what we've done previously and that is to as part of the file name invoice invoice name space dash space 12th second 15 okay so sorry delivery docket 12th, second, 15. Okay, so that's what we've always uh, done in the past, and we'll continue to do that as the temporary file. So space, dash, space, delivery docket, 12th, second, 15. In this particular day, it's a six number date format with delivery docket, uh, capital D, space, capital D, and then space, dash, space here. Um, save it as PDF. All right, so that's going to be a permanent record on this workbook. So go back to review um, or protect sheet and re-protect it. Admin one two three exclamation and again admin one two three exclamation. That's re-locked, re-protected. No one else can adjust it aside from staff who know the code. And then going to our email, that's when we have a variety of options in our drafts, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, and uh, that could be a pickup notice, uh, that could be a delivery docket uh, for um, same day or, but in this scenario, when we're talking about delivering it, and it would have been either a pre-shipment notice um, or a pre-shipment notice final, if that was the final product that was being delivered, or it would be a pickup or pickup notice final if that was the last to be delivered, or pickup if that was a partial, or this one, shipment notice and delivery docket, or final if it was being delivered or ordered and delivered on the same day. I hope that makes some sort of sense. But the most important thing about this tutorial is understanding how we're creating del delivery dockets now and the fact that it's not a separate file and the fact that this gets created to a PDF from this workbook as a temporary PDF and sent off. We no longer need to create a separate file.